Hello Capricorns. So this is the reading I got for you guys for the month of February. So I got the Six of Wands in reverse. I got the King of Swords in reverse. The Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands in reverse. The Ten of Cups in reverse. And the Emperor in reverse. So we have a repeating number of nine. Okay. So I feel like a lot of you guys are at the end of a phase. Okay. Either in a relationship, a cycle. You at some form of end. Okay. Now with the Nine of Pentacles being in upright position, this is good. I feel like you are becoming more independent, especially if you have broken up with someone or got out, of a, got out of a connection with someone, okay, that you feel like was draining you, um, draining your life force energy. Um, this connection was interfering with other um, sectors of your life as well, with the Six of Wands being reverse. But I feel like by you basically dropping the dead weight, you getting this like this is like it's kind of like a new source of freedom and a new source of independence okay like being complete on your own okay now i do get the ten of cups in reverse so this could be someone that you have children with okay but this is someone who's again who's emotionally draining you okay um i feel like you it was very one-sided this person was someone who liked to manipulate your emotions okay and this is someone who probably was dragging you, okay? What I mean dragging you is, like, this person was leading you on, pretending like they want to be in, a like, a solid, committed relationship with you. But in reality, they were dealing with someone else, okay? Um, that's what I'm seeing. Now, for the romance angels, I got make the effort, wedding, true love, separation, and let your friends help you. Um, so with these cards, I'm seeing that with the wedding, I feel like this is, this is your energy, how you was very committed to them, okay? Um, now with the make the effort, I feel like what I was trying to say, if you guys have been separated, but you still emotionally are attached to this person, I feel like what I was trying to say is make the effort to emotionally detach yourself, okay? Because you can be separated for a long time physically separated but if your emotions are still there like how can you move on you know what i'm saying now i do got the true love and separation so i feel like in in order for you guys to find this true love you got to separate from this person okay and let your friends help you i feel like this is basically meeting that new person going out with friends meeting this person through friends okay now when i clarify wedding i got the death in reverse and when I clarify, make the effort, I got three cups, okay? So a lot of you guys are emotionally attached to this person. Cups and tarot represent emotions. And with the death card being reversed, something is not completely dead, okay? And I feel like that's the emotions that you probably have for them. Now, when I clarify true love, I got three pentacles in reverse, okay? So it's very direct. It's trying to say, once you get out of this connection, this is when you're going to find true love, okay? And when I clarify separation, I got Ten of Pentacles, okay? So we got the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So it definitely is saying, like, once you separate your emotions, don't be attached to them on an emotional level, physical level, spiritual level, on a soul tie level. This is where you're going to actually reap your benefits, okay? Where you're going to meet someone that you think, okay? It's not what you think, but where you feel like the true love for you, Okay? Now, when I clarify, let your friends help you, I got the two of cups and the two of swords, okay? So, we got repeating number of two as well, too. So, two is all about balance, okay? Um, things are definitely going to balance out for you once you let go of this person, once you let go of this situation, okay? Letting the dead weight go. Um, now, February is the second month, so something's going to change in your love life as well, too. Who have this again? I think Aquarius have this as well. Aquarius and Aries. So Aquarius, Aries, probably the cardinal signs too. Okay. So probably Cancer. I think Cancer had a similar reading. And Libra. Anyway. Cardinal signs going to have some change of their love life. Okay. And also Aquarius for some reason as well. So you guys might be done with those signs. A cardinal sign or Aquarius. But with Let Your Friends Help You, I got the Two of Swords and the Two of Cups, okay? So, I feel like this person that could be new, this person started off as a friend, or you just meet through friends, or meaning, uh, meet this person when you're going out with friends, okay? 
Now, I feel like there's going to be two options. I don't feel like there's only going to be one person that's just going to approach you and try to date you. I feel like there's going to be two people in the month of February, excluding your ex um, or the past situation who is trying to get to know you, okay? Now, when I clarify the King of Swords in reverse, I got the Seven of Swords in reverse, the Seven of Cups, and the Five of Cups in reverse. So you got three repeating numbers. You got the nine, the two, and the three, okay? Okay, so yeah, that's very interesting. Okay, uh, with the Seven of Swords in reverse and Seven of Cups, again, that's you letting go of this deceptive person, okay? Someone who was cheating on you. And I don't feel like it was just one time. I feel like it was multiple times, okay? Seven of Cups represent illusions, okay? But I also represent options. So I do feel like you are going to have options in the month of February. And I feel like a lot of you guys are going to stop being attached to this person on an energetic level with the Five of Cups being reversed. Now, when I clarify the Nine of Pentacles... I had a 10 of wands and a four of wands in the first. So it took you a lot of courage, a lot of strength to get out of this um, connection, okay? Because I feel like, again, it was very one-sided. You was very committed to them. I think that's why the wedding card came out. But this person wasn't. Like, um, this person was basically breaking the vows if you was married to them. Or just breaking the codes that you had about, um, but that you had with them, okay? For the connection or the relationship, Okay. But this is something that was really draining you with the Ten of Wands being there. Now, when I clarify the Nine of Wands, in reverse, I've got the Queen of Swords, uh, the Nine of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Five of Wands, okay? So, Five of Wands does represent, um, it represents conflict, but at the same time, it does represent competition. So, I feel like a lot of you guys have options, and they're really showing it's really showing in February, okay? I feel like you're going to have more than two people, excluding your ex, that is trying to approach you because um, they see you as someone that they want to be with, okay? Um, they see you as very attractive. They see you as level-headed, okay? They see you as intellectual intelligent with the Queen of Swords being there. It could be a fire sign, an Aries, a Sagittarius, or a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, okay? But they definitely see you as the woman or the man, okay, that they want to be with, Now, when I clarify the Ten of Cups in reverse, I got the Lovers, the Page of Pentacles in reverse, the King of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So, I feel like the past situation, because of them not choosing who they want to be with, keeping you and the other person around, not being apologetic with it being extra confident that they can have you both, they miss the opportunity with you, okay? And it's like they're kind of oblivious to it, okay? Because if you look at it, the King of Wands is facing love and the Ace of Pentacles is facing the same direction. So it's like this person's kind of oblivious that you are the one that they're supposed to be with, okay? Um, but again, because of them not making that choice, I feel like a lot of you guys are just going to move on with someone else, okay? Now, when I clarify the Emperor in the verse, I have three wands, the seven wands in the verse, and three swords. Oh my God, you got a lot of repeating numbers. Okay, so you got two, three. The two is all about balance. Three is all about um, spirituality, spirit, your soul. And then you got the nine, which represent completion, coming to the end of the cycle. And seven, which represent com completion too. Wow. So, yeah, the month of February is going to be a very transformative month for you. You're going to experience some changes in your love life. Um, so, with the Emperor being reversed in the Three Wands, again, I feel like you guys knowing that you deserve more. You deserve the best, okay, with the Three Wands being there. And Seven Wands in reverse, you're no longer caring for the situation no more, okay? you letting go of this situation, okay, because you feel like this person is not... Showing you enough energy and effort that they want to keep you, okay? And with the Three of Swords in a verse, you letting go, okay? You letting go with the Three of Swords being reversed, okay? Um, but like I said, you guys have a lot of options, okay? I feel like it's going to be more than two people. 
definitely see what these options um, are about. See if it does match you. Because I feel like for one of them, you are going to feel like that is true love, okay? And that's the reading that I got for you, Capricorns. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can at queenfreetotero at gmail.com.